In today's video, we're going to be using HTML and CSS coding to create this single web page about Gunda Windy. Uh, so at the top, we've got a title and a nice little banner photo here. Got some information about the place, and down the bottom, we've got a video. A okay. That video is actually about getting around Gunda Windy in a four wheel drive. Alrighty, so there's not too much to it. The main thing we need to take out of this video is how to put a video into a web page. Alrighty, so let's get started today by heading into our accounts and we're going to make ourselves a new folder called Gundawindi Tourism. Inside of that folder, I want you to make two more new folders, one called Images and one called Media. The cover photo will need to go in the Images folder and the video will need to go in the Media folder. Okay, once you've got all that set up, oops, sorry, make sure you've got this info document open as well because this is all the writing you're going to need in your web page. All right, I've just written it out for you, saves you having to write it yourself. But once you've got that all set up, you are ready to go. So head on over to brackets and we'll get started on the coding. So the first thing you need to do before you start uh, writing today is you need to make a new document and save it. So go to file and save as, and you need to navigate your way back to your Gunda Windy Tourism folder that you made just a moment ago. And you want to call this page gundawindy.html remembering the .html extension on the end just to tell the computer we are making a web page click save once you've got that in and you are ready to go with your coding so the first tag we need to write in today is the the doc, the doc type tag okay so do a pointy bracket exclamation mark doc type and then write html this tells the computer we're making a html document we can then start our actual coding, so put in the HTML tags to start off with, and then put in the head tags after that. In between the head tags, we'll add a title that says Gunda Windy, and that will do us for the head section for now. We'll come back a bit later and link up the style sheets in that head section, but we'll leave it for the time being. Coming in next, we're going to do the body section. Okay, so put in some body tags. And I just want you to save where you're at now by pressing Control S and then going and into your account and opening the web page up for a preview. At the moment, we should just have a name in the tab at the very top of the page. It says Gunda Windy. And apart from that, there should be a blank uh, web page sitting on your screen. So let's start adding stuff to that um, blank body section now. The first thing we want to put in is a header. So I'm going to use a tag called the header tag. Inside of this header, we're going to do two things. The first is a H1 heading that says Gunda Windy. So that'll write the word Gunda Windy nice and big and bold for us. And the second thing I want to put in is a picture. So let's put the image source tag in and grab that banner.png file out of our images folder. Now remember, once you put the image in, you need to put in the alternate text. So we'll just write image of bridge in Gunda Windy. Okay, the alternate text is for those people who can't load images on their phone or their computer, it will just display the text instead. Press Ctrl S to save that, and that header section should now be appearing on our page. So there's our H1 heading, and there's our image. That's our banner image. Okay, so let's keep going now. We're going to go below the header section, and the next section we're going to put in is the article. The article is basically the main chunk of information that goes onto your page. So in the article section, what I want you to do is pop over to that text document, all the information, and simply copy it. And then back in brackets, I want you to press Control V to paste it in. Now, some of those paragraphs don't indent properly, so you might need to highlight them and press Tab a few times just to get them indented so they're all sitting flush with one another like so inside the article tags. Now if we save it and preview it, all that information isn't going to come out in paragraphs. It just comes out in one big chunk of text. So what you need to do is put in paragraph tags to break up each paragraph. So if we do the letter P for our paragraphs. We do a P tag at the start of a paragraph, and we do a closing P tag at the end of a paragraph. So what I'll get you to do is just copy and paste by pressing Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and just paste the letter P through the start of each of those paragraphs, copy the closing p tag and paste it in at the end of each paragraph. 
save that up when you're done and have a look and you should see now that you've got five paragraphs all right the next thing we need to do is put a hyperlink in and that's going to link us off to some more information about gun the windy it's still going to come inside the article section so make sure you're still inside of it and we're going to make a new paragraph to do this remember to do a link we write in href equals and you need to write in the website address yourself this time so it's http S this time, so a secure web page. Forward slash, colon forward slash forward slash www.queensland.com forward slash destination. Then we do the percentage sign and the number 20. That stands for a special character. I can't remember which one, but we'll just roll with it. So percentage 20, destination information, forward slash Gundawindi. And then we will close the quotation marks and close the pointy bracket. Okay, so make sure you've got that address right. HTTPS www.queensland.com Destination Information Gundawindi. Okay, still inside those pointy brackets, but outside of the quotation marks, we're going to write in the word target equals underscore blank. And if you forgot what that means, that basically opens up this, or will open this hyperlink up in a new blank page or a new blank tab okay so now in between those a tags what we're going to do is we're going to write click here and then outside of the a tags we'll put a space and we'll just write it to find out more about Gundawindi okay by putting the words click here between the a tags that will make that the hyperlink so if we save it and preview it We've got a hyperlink down the bottom here now. We can click on it and it loads up a page with a bit more info and some pictures about Gundawindi. Alrighty, so back in brackets now, we're finished with the article section, the main chunk of writing. So I'm going to jump out of the article section now and I'm going to put the video in. Okay, it's going to go in its own paragraph. So I open up some P tags and then open up a video tag. Inside the video tag, we're simply going to write source and then src equals look in your media folder and select the video.mp4 and we're going to close off those brackets so that's put a video in its own paragraph let's save it and have a look and we'll see if it looks any good okay so here it is here in its own paragraph it's not too bad the issue is there's no play button to play the video all right so what we can do Back in the video here, in the first video tag, put a space and write controls in. That will put some controls at the bottom so you can play it, pause it, adjust the volume, make it full screen, and so on. So let's go back and have another look and we'll see if we can get that going. So you can see the little bar in there now. We set a trap in half. We're going to use it. Seems to be working fine. Okay, so that's our video with the control bar at the bottom. Okay, fairly simple code. Now we're just going to add something else in here to make our styling easier a bit later on. I actually want to style up this um, video paragraph in my style sheet a bit later. And because we've got P tags here, and if we try and style it up using that, all these other P tags, all these other paragraphs will get styled up the same. We don't want that. So I'm going to make this paragraph have a unique name. So I'll just write P class equals and I'll just give it the name video that'll do that name could be anything but it should be meaningful so that's why I've chosen the word video the final thing we're going to put in now is a footer at the bottom so you can use the footer tags for this and we're simply going to write copyright and we're going to write 2018 Gunda Windy Tourism all right, now I put the copyright symbol in this as well. The copyright symbol is that little C with a circle around it. And the way we do that is we do it between the copyright and the 2018. So I'm going to write in the ampersand sign and then the word copy with a semicolon at the end. And that's how you do the copyright symbol in HTML. If we save that up and have a look. Just scroll to the bottom and you can see our little copyright statement at the bottom of the page. Alrighty, so that is our HTML all done. Okay, what we need to do now is the CSS. So let's make a new document up 
And before we start typing, we'll save it. Again, navigate your way back to your Gundawindi Tourism folder and give it the name style.css. And before we start typing in it, we might as well link it up back in our HTML. So in the head section at the top of the HTML, just press enter below the title there. And I want you to write in link rel equals style sheet and then href equals style.css. Okay. And that has linked up this HTML document to our style sheet. So now we can start formatting our website, our web page to make it look good. Alrighty, so back over here we've got this style sheet. The first thing that we want to um, start styling up is just the background color. We'll keep it simple. Okay, so we're going to write in the HTML tag first of all and open up our curly braces and simply change the background color. Now you can choose like a darkish kind of brown um, if you'd like or you can just copy me I've chosen hashtag 5d4431 so I've used a hexadecimal value to get my background color we save that and have a preview that's what it's looking like looks pretty ugly at the moment but don't worry we're going to make it look better in just a moment the next thing I'm going to do is start the body section okay if we just go to the HTML for a sec the HTML tags wrap around absolutely everything Okay, so that's why we style up our background inside of those. The body section, it covers most things as well. Okay, it doesn't go quite to the edge of the page, as you'll see in just a moment. So what we're going to do is change the background color first here to white. And when I save that, it's going to put a white box basically over the top of the brown background that we had before. So you can see that white background just shining through and then the white body section over the top of it. Alrighty, so that's what we're working with now. And the next thing we're going to do is just change the max width of that white box to 85% of the page. That way, we've still got a little bit of excess space out the side here. Looks a bit funny pushed over to the left, so we might center that now. So the way we center it is we write margin zero auto. Alrighty, and that should, when we save it, center that white box okay so that's looking pretty sweet next thing you might do is change the font at the moment it is a sans oh sorry it is a serif font which means the letters have little caps on the end if you look closely there's little flicks or little feet on the end of each letter what we want to do is get rid of those okay this is good for print uh, that's a good font for printed documents but what we want to do is change it to a sans serif font that gets rid of those little feet which is better viewing on the web so what we'll do is change the font family to sans serif. If we save that and preview it, you can see now the font doesn't have those little caps on the end of each letter. All right, we'll also change the font size to 1EM, and we'll also put in some line height, which is line spacing, and set it to 1.5EM. Saving that now and having a look, you can see that the font is a lot easier to read, particularly down here in the main article section all right so that's our body section all styled up next thing i'm going to do is style the header section now the header section contains both the h1 heading here as well as this banner image and all i want to do is put a background behind them so just type in the word background and i want you to choose a greeny kind of color so i'm going to type in the hashtag 0d6a11 Saving that, and you'll see that that puts in a background behind the header section. So it's that nice green kind of color. Coming down below that, I'll start up the H1 tag now. So the H1 tag is just Gundawindi here, just the words Gundawindi. So we'll style that up by centering that text. So text align will be center. Text transform is going to be uppercase. That means all of our letters will be capitals. We'll change the font size to 3EM, so it's three times its usual size. We'll change the padding at the top by 10 pixels. Actually, no, I might go a bit more than that, 35 pixels. 35 pixels at the top, just to give it a bit of space from the top of the page. And the last thing, we're going to color it white. I think it was a little bit dark, that black text on the green background. 
So now our H1 heading, which is the word Gunda Windy, should have all those effects applied to it. You can see it's a bit easier to read. In capitals and white text, it's centered. It's got a bit of padding above the top of it there. Looks really good. Next thing I'm going to style up is the article section down the bottom where we've got the main chunk of information. So this section here looks pretty good as it is, but the one thing I want to change is how much space it's got from the edge of the page. It seems to be hugging the edge of the page a little bit too tightly there, so I just want to give it a bit of breathing room. So what we're going to do is we're going to write in padding. Now you could do padding left, padding right, padding top, and do four different, or padding bottom, and do four different lines of code. Or you can cheat a little bit and do it all in one line of code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in the word padding, and I'm going to write zero pixels. That's for the top of our article box. Now the left-hand side, I'm going to give it 10 pixels of padding. And the right-hand side, I'll give it 10 pixels of padding too. Won't worry about the bottom, so I'll just leave that out. I'll save that up and we'll go and have a look. Whoops, just put the semicolon on the end too. I'll save that up and have a look and see how this padding's going. So you can see now I've got a little bit of white space coming down the left and the right sides of the page. Top didn't need it, it's already got a bit of white space there, so it's all fine. Same with the bottom section. Okay, you can adjust that padding as need be. You can make them bigger and smaller if you want. That looks pretty good now that our article's got a bit of breathing room. Next thing I'm going to style up is the image, which is just this one here. Looks a bit funny off-center there on the left. I might get it to stretch all the way across the page. So what I'll do is just write image or the IMG tag, and just adjust its width, and you can set it to 100%. That way it will adjust the height accordingly, but it will stretch it out to be 100% width of the page. So let's have a look at that. There we go. It makes it a bit bigger and does pixelate a little bit because it did have to grow in size, but it's not a big issue. You can still make out what's going on. It's still reasonable quality. Okay, so looking good. Next thing we might style up down here is the video. Again, don't want it on the left-hand side, I want it centered. Okay, so if we just jump back to the HTML for a sec, remember I gave the video paragraph its own class name, so its own unique name, so I can style that paragraph up individually. So back in our style sheet, what I'm going to write in is P for paragraph and then dot .video, so it knows the class name that I'm talking about. And all I want to do is write text to line as center. Even though it's not text we're centering, it's a video, that will still push the video into the center of the page, like so. Alrighty, so that's looking good. Last thing we've got to go now is the footer section. So that's our little copyright statement at the bottom. We don't want that too big, we want to push it kind of out of the way a bit, so we'll do text align as center. Font size we'll make smaller, so 0.75 em would be good, so that's about three quarters of its usual size. And we might chuck it in italics as well, so we'll change the font style to italic. Alrighty, so I'm actually got semicolons at the end of each of those lines, the brackets are closed. Save it up, we should have a nice little copyright footer at the bottom. Okay, let's just check that video works. Yep, video works. Let's check our link works still. Yep, our link works fine. Writing looks good, and header section up the top looks good. We have a finished web page. Okay, so make sure you save that up. And that is basically a very good looking and professional simple web page. Catch you in the next video.